Hello and welcome to Microfocus Education. Let's look at the SBM mobile app and some enhancements available in SBM 11.4.1. Now you can use fingerprint and signature identification, use GPS location data, record and attach audio files, and use web-based forms. The SBM mobile app has been around for a while. Here's the version for Android phones, available on Google. You can also download the iOS version for the iPhone from Apple. Now let's get started. Open the SBM mobile app and log into the SBM server using a password. Now let's enable some of the new features. On the settings screen, we can enable audio recordings, signature identification, and fingerprint ID. Let's look at this feature first. Log out, and then we'll use a new method to log back in. Of course, you've already registered your fingerprint with this device. Now, you can touch your finger instead of typing your password. We're logged back into the SBM server. Now let's open a work item and see what's new. There are some new options on the edit menu. This work item requires authorization. So we can use our fingerprint here as well. Notice how the app fills in our username and password once we passed fingerprint ID. Now let's look at another new feature. We can access our phone's GPS coordinates and use them as part of our workflow. In this example, we will compare our current location against an auxiliary table with the locations of all our company branch offices. We need to select our current GPS coordinates in this case. And the nearest office is in Eugene, Oregon. This field is a link. We can go directly to a map and find a good place for brunch. Now, let's look at another feature. You can make an audio recording from your phone and attach it to your work item. Hello, Hello Carmen, Carmen, this, this is, is Joe. Joe. I'm, I'm traveling now and I'll see you at the, the office, office this afternoon. afternoon. And here is the audio file we just recorded. Next, let's try authorization with a signature. This form requires that we include a signature. You can use a stylus or your finger to sign. and our signature is captured as a file attachment associated with this work item. Now we will return to the settings screen to enable the use of web-based forms. You can create responsive forms in SBM Composer so that they will display on the web or in smartphones. However, you may want to access legacy forms that were designed for the web and may have customized features such as JavaScript that are beyond the capabilities of native mobile forms. 
Now you can access these web-based forms directly from the mobile app. All of the form functionality is available from your smartphone. Finally, let's log out of the SBM mobile app. This concludes our demonstration of enhancements to the mobile app in SBM 11.4.1. Now you know how to use fingerprint and signature identification, use GPS location data, record and attach audio files, and use web-based forms. More information is available on the web at help.serena.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.